What is going on guys? My name is Klaus and thank you for tuning back into today's episode. I am at the Knights of Zion and checking out this war against Pinoy Army 3.1. Now I'm going to look at their clan description first because look at this. It says that they are affiliated with a, a, a main clan called Pinoy Army and they've got a lot of clans. This is like a legit fan, a clan family. And, uh, I mean, this is 3.1. They've got up to 8.0, apparently. So, I mean, they, they've got a lot of clans, and they know what they're doing. All right, so if we go back to the war stats, the Knights of Zion appear to be taking them 53 to 50. Now, I'm saying it as appear because it's not over yet. They have two attacks left. Um, the only attacks left are from, where is he? From this guy, Okatels. And Okatels is a low-level Town Hall 9. And the only bases that are not two-starred, at least, are upper-level Town Hall 10. So I think that the only uh, the only star they could possibly get is against Mark and Roger Smith, which are both Town Hall 9s. And even then, they're still going to lose 53-51. So it is pretty much guaranteed that they are going to lose the war and Knights of Zion are going to take the victory. So what I wanted to show you guys is their bottom base. Check out their bottom base, three-star by no none other then your man Jasper, which is my mini account, Town Hall 8. And this is a Town Hall 9 without any defenses. I mean, obviously, there's the cannon, right? Level 3 cannon. No big deal. But he doesn't even have upgraded troops. Like, he's got a level 1 queen. So, I mean, at first glance, you say, hey, this is a... Uh, this is a a rushed base or engineered base with only one cannon. But then you look at the troops and you're like, level one Valkyrie, uh, what's going on? Level five uh, uh, balloons though. So, I mean, you know, it's kind of like a engineered account. But uh, Jasper completely dominated that guy. Let me just show you real quick. Uh, four times speed. I used some dragons. I uh, lure the clan castle, use some dragons, kill the enemy clan castle, and then some Valkyries to clear up the troops. And, um, I mean, no big deal, right? So, you know, look at the Valkyries, drop some raid spells, clearing up the one cannon, no chance. Um, yeah, so am I proud of that three-star? I mean, yeah, a little. If he's an engineer, he kind of deserves it, I guess. I mean, <laughs> no defenses you should expect to get three-star. But, so I hit the bottom base, and then I also hit the top base. No, that's not my two-star. Uh, I wish. I really tried hard. Uh, but let me show you what I mean. So I went in and I did a scout on their number one base. And if you look at their number one base, it's a Town Hall 11 without the Eagle Artillery, Town Hall 10.5. So my thought was, go vape. Go Golems, Valkyries, and P.E.K.K.A., whatever I've been using with my Town Hall 8 trophy push. And if I can get in there, and if I can take out that, that Town Hall and get the 50%, I could... I could two-star a Town Hall 11, which would be pretty sweet. So, dropping the golems on either side of this um, of this entryway here, I've got a couple of wizards kind of starting out our funnel. And um, you want to make sure you get a good wide funnel, guys. So the king, the P.E.K.K.A., they're very unruly. They don't like to do what you want them to do. So, Valkyrie's in, uh, king, P.E.K.K.A. in, wall breakers kind of breaking us into the base there. And what we're going to see is a quad quake. And I noticed, hey, guys, if we can get... All of our Valkyries and our King and a Pekka and the Golem and everything into this base. And look at this. We got a we got a lava lava hound in the clan castle. So no big deal. No big deal. I think if I can get all my kill squad in, if we can come up and take out all these defenses, we'll be able to get 50%. But look at this, guys. My Pekka and a Valkyrie got stuck on this wall, and that was just there's nothing. We're not going to be able to get it. So we actually locked on to 40%. The king kind of starts working on a wall. He gets through the wall, but at the last second, he turns around for some reason. He could have probably given us given us a, a higher percentage. Um, and then, of course, the lava hound goes and starts wrecking on our cleanup troops, which is never good. So anyway, 40%, um, one star for the Town Hall 8. Now, Look at this, guys. Let's watch Mighty Clasher hit this base live, guys. Um, we came in really, really late, but he's using a simple straight La Luna attack. Town Hall 9 on Town Hall 9. Um, all the Lava Hounds have been dropped. The Lava or the Archer Queen not doing a whole lot, but with the Rage Spell, guys, the Balloons may 
just might get through and three star the base. Um, the the queen still being alive, and this is why you don't see straight La Lune very often. You see go La Lune because the golems, the king and the queen, you can use them to take out things like the enemy queen. So it looks like it's going to be a fail. We learned that very quickly that you do need some sort of plan, and I didn't see the plan, so I don't know if there was one. Uh, but we 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 definitely saw that. Um. You know, he, he wasn't able to get the queen out, and the queen ended up ruining the raid for us. So, uh, GG to Mighty Clasher. But anyway, so check it out, guys. We got a town hall. We got a three star on a town hall 10. This is town hall 10 on town hall 10 action. It is a lower level town hall 10, but he does have these level two single targeting inferno towers. So, let's see how he's going to do. He's got Go La Loon. All right. So, let's see. Let's see what he's going to do. If it were me. All right, this is a good this is a good strategy to, to start stretching out your brain a little bit. If it were me and I had a go la loon, how would I attack this base? Now, if we look at the base design, you guys can see we got the queen, we got the um, uh, uh, clan castle, we got a, a inferno tower, and we got a couple of air defenses all on the south side of the base. We got another uh, set of air defenses in the inferno on the north as well, but there's nothing really uh, nothing else up there. So I'm thinking if Ant Dayuto. I'm bad with his name. I'm sorry. Um, if if this guy can come at the base from the south, he'll be in good shape. So let's see what he ends up doing. Um, okay, Wizard and Arch Tower on the south is already a good start. And, oh, he's got his golem in on the far eastern side of the base. So let's see. He is coming at the base in a way to where he's going to be using this one little corridor compartment to get his troops all the way through the base. Uh, jump spell kind of... Kind of shallow. I mean, three, four, five, six, seven. He could have easily jumped over both walls, but there is probably a reason for that. He wanted to make sure and get both of those air defenses, and it looks like that's exactly what he's going to do. So his queen is in, working on the Lava Hound now. The second air defense drops. He's got his balloons in now. He's got uh, hay spells for days, guys. Hay spells for days. As the uh, And he goes right at the air sweeper. So um, not quite the way I would have hit the base, um, but we know the results. We know he three stars, so let's see how he does it. He has a group of balloons busy on the um, busy over here with the sweeper. We got some hounds and balloons on the north side of the base as well. And uh, because it is a single targeting inferno, the uh, balloon takes him out, no big deal. And then another single targeting inferno. So you know, I've got a problem with single targeting infernos, as uh, you know, as a in a personal way. Um, as an attacker, my my uh, the, the bases that seem to troll me the worst have single targeting infernos, and I think the best way to combat that is to just is to just rush your balloons in quicker. Um, I tend to have a slower strategy, a slower uh, pace to my attacking, and it ends up costing me sometimes. So um, Ant definitely did it right. He got the three star with a lot of troops. Even though he didn't do it the way I thought he would, he did great. So shout out to him, man. Nicely done with that uh, Town Hall 10 three star. Very rare, very nice. Um, and, um, you know, very nice. All right, so let's pick a random one. Mighty Clasher. Okay, so we showed his fail. Let's show his his success here. Um, Mighty Clasher coming in on this Town Hall 9. He has La Loon. He has a... Um, and he actually, he earthquaked. Oh, he's gonna, he dropped an earthquake spell and some lightning spells and he's, he's BBQing one of the air defenses. He has, um, two sweepers pointing up and down. So he's got to figure out how he's going to handle all of the, uh, like the, the queen and everything. Basically the same strategy as before. Again, not quite recommended, um, to, to just kind of throw balloons at every base, but we'll see how he does it this time. Obviously he gets the three stars, so we can't complain too much. So let's see how he does it. He, he dropped the defenses on this side. Um, he's got another balloon. I think he's trying to lure the clan castle, but there is a sweeper there, mighty. There's a sweeper there. Let's see what he does. All right. So he's worrying. He's dealing with that sweeper. His queen, the queen is coming now. Yeah, dude, you're not, you're not getting that lure. The lure is just not happening right now. Um, Unless maybe that's not what he's doing. I don't know. All right, so the hound is down. He's got a hound. That's good. And the queen is starting to target the hound. It's only level 14 queen, so it's not that too It's not too terrible. Three hounds all right there. Watch this, guys. Queen pop type of thing right there. All right, so we've got a rage spell down. The pups should come around and destroy that queen. Queen pop style. Shout out to Cast and Blast for that attack strategy, for coming up with that one. He engineered that style, and it's a it's a nice one. You basically you rage over the lava pups, and they kill the enemy queen. So um, there we go. The queen is down. So he was using, oh, that was what Mighty Clash was using. The, the, 
the queen pop and it just didn't work out. Okay, uh, Mighty Clasher, respect to you, man. Uh, we all we all mess up sometimes. It's all good. It's okay. I mean, look at how badly he destroyed this base. I mean, seriously, like he has so many balloons, he could attack another base with these balloons. It would be it would be crazy to do that, but he could. So dang man nicely done he completely dominated and of course now the pups or now the hound comes out from the clan castle and the pups are everywhere but it's all good he gets that three star in record time nicely done mighty clasher um i underestimated you man i will admit i underestimated you let's see this attack by critter i like watching these attacks randomly this is a town hall 9.5 no infernos for a town hall 10 and critter is a town hall 9 so this is uh this is gonna be interesting lower level defenses uh he's got some bowlers he's got a good funnel being set right here by the wizards so the bowlers should continue to go north he's got some wizards up there at the top setting a funnel as well he's got bowlers from the clan castle king and queen going straight at the tesla farm which is good because the golems are being absorbed by the tesla and then he's got some hogs guys the hogs are um are awesome at town hall nine if you don't have to worry about infernos hogs are simply awesome we don't see enough of those in our in our raids in our wars um Anyway, Clan Castle, um, a baby dragon and a standard dragon. Um, not sure what the logic behind that is, but uh, uh, baby dragon, regular dragon in the Clan Castle. The bowlers are wrecking everything. He is trying to just gut the base as far as he can and take out as much of that blank space because the hogs are scary when there's blank spaces. But anyway, guys, so the clan, I mean, the, uh, the kill squad going on at the north. He's sent in his hogs from the south and... They're doing some work. The level 5 hog, so they're not pushovers. He's got a heal spell down just to make sure it gets through that expo. He's also going to work on the uh, the the sweeper. The poison spell on that uh, skeleton trap is nice. And now giant bomb, but all good there. He's still, got a, he's still got a kill squad going on, guys. He took care of so much DPS from the uh, defenses a minute ago that he's able to just kind of... He's just enjoying himself. He is having a fun, he's having a good time in this raid, guys. And that enemy queen kind of doing some work. He's got very few hogs left, guys. This is clutch. Um, the heal spell down. The hogs take out the last defense. They're going to work on some trash buildings. Hopefully they turn and kill the queen because I don't see... Oh, well, he's got a lot of wizards kind of doing cleanup down here. So it's kind of like a trash ring. His queen's probably going to have to kill the enemy queen here in a moment. Um, let's just kind of... Let's double time it for now and see what happens here. Golem stuck on the wall over there. Bowlers, wizards, queen. Everybody's going to converge on the enemy queen. They're going to take out this wall. Watch this, guys. Watch this. Queen... Queen battle. Yeah, get it. Oh, special ability, man. He held on to that special ability. They're going to get through the wall, take out the, the hut, or the uh, altar, and then the hut, and then grab that three star. So, Critter, dude, that was clutch, man. That was that was really clutch. That was nice, though. I enjoyed that attack. All right, moving on down. So, are we, do we have, oh, this is a Town Hall 8. 8 bit brawler is actually Critter. So, we're going to have to, we're going to have to skip over that. Sorry, buddy. But, all right, so we got Soldy 2.0 against. Uh, Clash of Clans Master, sure buddy, sure. And it's a Town Hall 9 with level 1 and level 2 Expos. I was actually looking at this base to hit it, but um, I decided to go ahead and scalp the top base and said, so he's got Go La Lune, good strategy, perhaps the best one out there right now for Town Hall 9. And he has a very wide funnel being established. He used a mini to take off that bomb tower. He's got golems going in. It's kind of like a mini southern teaser base. The, the golems going into this gaping hole on the southern side of the base. He's got a huge funnel being set. He needs to send in his bowlers now. Bowlers going straight into that base. He's got a jump spell, which will likely send his kill squad straight into that core there. But let's see how quickly. Look at the, look at the queen. Wow, double giant bomb triggered by the golems. Nicely done. There is a rage spell. He's put a poison spell down in the enemy clan castle. And his queen needs to turn around and help out with that baby dragon. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, guys. Come on. Come on. All right. Well, the, the poison spell killed the enemy clan castle. So that was nice. All right. So two, two air defenses dropped so far. He's got... Oh. Oh. Wow, guys, I don't know, I don't know what happened, but the third one took some damage as well. He's got his uh, his king in the core, his queen, and the bowlers are working on the the eastern side. He's got a couple of hounds coming in now, balloons behind. 
This is going to be so legit doing Town Hall 9 War with my mini account, Jasper. He is so close to max Town Hall 8, it's not even funny. So, anyway, the hounds are down. He's, whoa, look at all that, guys. He needs a poison spell right now, or those hounds are going to completely get totally melted. Air bombs everywhere. The balloon should have no trouble taking out all of these defenses at this point. Even though the air defense is down, there is, uh, wow, guys, look at this convergence. Wow. <laughs> Dang, that air defense died so fast. And the lava pups totally destroyed those skeleton traps, those air skeleton traps. Totally powerful against um, air attacks. But you know what? You you got the, you got a luck behind your side and a little bit of skill. You got you can take care of those air skeleton traps. Very nicely done. Let's speed this up. He actually uh, swagged a hay spell down there for some reason, way down there at the bottom of the base. Shout out to Soldy Colt. Soldy, sorry. And I said that weird. Soldi, shout out to him for the incredible three star. He's a co leader of Knights of Zion and he's a complete baller. But anyway, guys, that is going to do it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the war recap between the Knights of Zion and Pinoy Army 3.1. Again, these guys are, they, they know what they're doing. I mean, anybody that gets near 90% total destruction, and this was a pretty fair war, um, you know, it, it's pretty good. So shout out to that, that clan. They did very, very well. And Knights of Zion, if you guys want, to try to join the Knights of Zion or any of the other clans in the UWA, you're more than welcome to apply on our Discord server. The link for that is down below in the description. Just make sure that you meet those minimum requirements. But anyway, guys, that's going to be it for me. I hope you enjoyed it. Like the video if you liked it and if you like this war content and subscribe if you have not quite joined the Klaus family. And as always, guys, I will see y'all again next time. Oh, <laughs>